Okay, Lina Kiki Abile, Kale Roy. Um, I'm a lecturer in environmental science at the University of Zone. And by profession, uh, I'm a climatologist. So, climatologist, to work to Tataroba de Bellam, this is a male and I'm Tatale, this is a what is climate change and what are the impacts of climate change? Climate change is the change in climate which uh, occurs um, over a period of time. But normally, uh, it's, uh, it is normally, the, the, it's normally a long term uh, uh, change in temperature trends, in, in rainfall patterns, and in rainfall trends. Over a long, a long period of time, usually we are talking about uh, 100 years, 20 years or more. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit different from, from climate variability. In climate variability, we are, we are talking about um, five years, 10 years, uh, or, or so. But in terms of climate change, we are looking at how the climate is changing uh, over a very long period of time. Yes. How long it, it, it depends. Uh, it could be 100 years. It could be 20 years, it could be 20 years. So it's normally manifested by uh, a, a change uh, in the long term average uh, of temperatures, uh, a long term change uh, in our average uh, precipitation. Mm -hmm. Precipitation in this case, it includes rainfall. Mm -hmm. We normally say precipitation because. Uh, if you say rainfall, it includes things like snowfall. In some countries, they don't, they don't have rainfall. Mm -hmm. There was snowfall. Mm -hmm. And in some countries, there was lit. So the, the, the different names that we So we just use uh, the, the words uh, precipitation. Um, what effort is your institution doing in assisting or in fighting against climate change? Um, well, uh, um, the University of Botswana uh, is doing quite a lot. Um, uh, the Department of Environmental Science um, is playing its part because of our concern about the environment, and also we, we got our we also got the Faculty of Engineering and Technology the, because it's it's, it's it's more like a technical department if you like. Mm -hmm. They are also uh, having their fair share of trying to help. Uh, in the fight against climate change. Yes. Now, if, if, I, if I talk about the Department, or the Department of Environmental Science, um, to start with, we've got a postgraduate uh, um, academic program specialization that we call climate change and sustainable development because there's no way you can separate climate change from sustainable development. Mm -hmm. They go together. In order for you to achieve development which is sustainable, you, you also need uh, to, 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 to to act against climate change. There's what you call climate action, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll talk about later on. So, and, and we also offer uh, undergraduate courses um, on climatology. Uh, a lot of, of projects offer in, uh, in climatology. And we also collaborate uh, with other relevant stakeholders which are also involved um, in issues regarding climate change. It could be the Department, the Department of Meteorological Services, the Human Department of Environmental Affairs, we've got uh, BITRO, mm -hmm. we also got uh, UNDP, uh, we also got, and, and some our sister university boost. Mm -hmm. so, so, we, so, so we, we work uh, with those institutions and some NGOs, we call that also got uh, some NGOs like uh, like KCS, for example, uh, the Western Climate Hub, I think that's the, that's the name and which are uh, the, the, the Climate Exploration Hub, um, so which also deal with climate change. And until recently, we had the, 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 this one of the trust, uh, but I think now uh, it has been. It has gone under, but, but it has all, we also been working with it to try to uh, fight um, the impact of climate change. 
and and we, and, we, and we also work with other international organizations, for example, um, uh, like for example, we've got uh, UNECA, uh, UNECA office in Addis Ababa. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got the Botswana Global Change Committee, uh, which was initially housed here in the Department of Environmental Science, but now it's housed at the Office of Social Development. Uh, I'm the secretary of the Botswana Global Change Committee. Mm -hmm. And the chair is also from this department, uh, uh, Professor Pauline Dube. So we've also been uh, working hard with other uh, concerned uh, stakeholders uh, to, 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 to mount workshops, seminars, um, which particularly deal with climate change. Uh, I think the most notable one was hosting the, in, the, 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 the Intergovernmental Panel Climate Change, the IPCC, uh, in 2018. Mm -hmm. And Botswana was the first country in Africa uh, to hold such a, a high profile um, event, uh, consisting of over 180 mm -hmm. participants from all over the world who came here. And to, 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 to uh, uh, it was a lead author meeting, so to, to, to come to draw the, to, 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 to finalize on their reports um, which are which are which are to do with climate change mm. with global climate change oh, wow. uh, specifically the to, to, to stabilizing uh, climate to 1.5 degrees okay mm. so because remember, remember that the, the climate change um, because the temperatures are increasing the idea is that we let, let just make sure that we ensure that the, term, uh, the temperatures do not rise beyond 1.5 degrees, yes. and then try to come up with ways and you know, to, 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 to project how what's you, how is it going to happen um, when the when the emissions are kept so that we achieve 1.5 degrees and so forth. So that's one thing that we've been doing. So uh, so we've also been involved uh, in SR activities. Uh, as our division it is, um, it is to commemorate um, the, the, the to, to commemorate the earth, uh, the, the, the climate change, and we had some activities. It, it started way back, so there's a certain day in March when when people celebrate the commemorate this F hour, mm -hmm. and they do that by having some outreach activities, um, especially the grassroots. The communities, trying to work with them, conscientize them about climate change. So I think until 2018, I think that's the last event that event that we had, working with um, other stakeholders like um, the Tower Power Corporation, of course, by virtue of them being um, the emitters yes. from the first nations. We'll also be working with um, UNDP. We'll be working with. Um, um, other organizations, although the brainchild for the for for, 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 for this project was the UN Environmental uh, Trust, which, like I said, uh, it, has, it has gone under. So we use students start with the marching during the day and do things which maybe which start to conscientize the communities. A later in the evening, of course, and then we gather at the court, for example, where people. Um, where people uh, are addressed on issues regarding climate change. And then, uh, and then from 8.30 p.m., we switch off the lights for one hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, to commemorate that. So I think that that's really happening. And the, so 2019, we, we were in Kumakwani, 20, yeah, 20, 2018. 2017, we were at Hamudugu. Uh, 2016. Uh, I, I think we will call the I, I, I wasn't there due to some commitments, but uh, we, we, all that has been happening. Uh, so that's what we've been doing. Mm. How likely is Botswana's climate to change in future? And what future consequences of these changes are, going, are they going to affect different sectors and social groups that we have? As you probably know, uh, Botswana is quite, uh, in terms of temperature change, Botswana is a, is a hot is a hot spot, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry to say that um, 
Botswana is roaming more than any other country in South Africa. Um, I think largely because of its location and also due to the snorkel controls um, which determine the day to day weather. So Botswana is landlocked, and so uh, the deployment systems which are here. I would say that Botswana is becoming warmer. Um, as much as the, the, the world is becoming warmer, mm -hmm. I would say that Botswana is becoming hotter. Ooh. Hotter than any other country uh, in, in, the, in, in the region. So, and, and we expect that probably to continue until maybe the end of the millennium. So, I think I'm And that's what models are saying. And also, when you look at metrical data, observe the data, that's what is telling us. We all know that the we got heavy heat waves, mm -hmm. um, which have been experiencing um, in the last few years. We, we've seen uh, uh, severe droughts. So, and these droughts are going to become more severe. We've seen um, wildfires. So, this uh, the, 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 the incidences of wildfires are also likely to increase. And also, uh, the other thing that uh, we, we are likely to see, uh, which is associated with that, uh, is, is the increase uh, in extreme weather events, like flooding. Uh, as, as you know, uh, is it, is it the, uh, a few years back, is it, even last year, we were having a bit of flooding in Mushupa. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And, 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 and in the yester years, recently, we will have some bridges, like, like in the Nyone area, being destroyed by floods. And all these extreme events, we expect them to intensify. And, and, and probably even to become even more severe and more frequent. People have lost their houses when their roofs were blown, when blown, blown off by strong winds, most of this likely to occur. And, and in the neighboring countries, we have seen um, the tropical cyclones. We all know about the, the, the tropical cyclone, the Nero, mm -hmm. uh, that occurred uh, nearly half a decade ago. Mm -hmm. About the policies that we have in Botswana, would you say that the um, effect, effective in fighting climate change? Uh, as you know, we're going to do this the Botswana climate change policy. Uh, I think it's only a year old. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we and, and that policy, uh, it, 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 that policy um, was only approved recently. So and how effective it is, uh, it's still too much for now because the, the, the policies you know, uh, unlike other countries, um, which may maybe had their policy way back. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's, 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 it's we haven't come to a stage whereby we can try to assess or maybe to evaluate it yet. But, 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 but let's hope that um, it, it will be if effective, especially when in, in, in mainstreaming uh, in, 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 in the developed sectors. We have a lot of the water policy, with that cultural policy. All this has to be built around uh, climate change. You know that currently we've got um, the, 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 the agricultural um, master plan, NAMPAD, uh, which we have, you know about it. So, and, and under it, we've got, we got, we got programs like the East Art, we've got Bay Limit. So, th there's a likelihood that um, they may be affected by climate change. And remember that uh, the government has announced that um, the their review is part. Mm -hmm. and, and the next, and this year probably, by towards the mid, towards mid year, uh, I think they, they'll have the review this part. But of course, um, I, would, I would not say maybe it's because of climate, 
but you may find that maybe climate is wrong. People may, may, may maybe you may find that the beneficiaries, uh, or in terms of its implementation, somewhat is being constrained by to may, maybe to some extent um, by the nature of our climate. So, and I don't know how that is going to happen. But let's just hope that um, the government would also consider or when they come up with, 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 with these new programs, they also consider climate change. Mm -hmm. So, in a nutshell, we all got, we all got this is what we call WEF nexus. WEF is water, energy, food nexus. Those are, in the, those are linked. A nexus is like a link mm -hmm. uh, between water, between energy, between food. So, which means all, all, all the government uh, programs which are in place, uh, they, they, they should be able to address uh, this wealth nexus, uh, especially in the face of climate change, because they, they are all interlinked. I mean, when there's no water, chances are that energy, then, then energy, energy supplies constraint, food security becomes an issue. So, those are interlinked. They're intertwined, mm -hmm. if you like. Mm -hmm. So that's why you call it a nexus. So I just hope that uh, the government um, will consider that um, going forward. For now, I don't think that there, there isn't be much work which will be done in that regard. And uh, I think I'll, I'm, I'm about to turn back uh, on a project uh, which is which will be part of which is part of my PhD. To look at the work of measures uh, in the light of climate change. So, but generally, it's most of the policies which are in place will be will be the, will be the natural conservation. In the, the, the what? Will be so many. The, 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 I think there are a lot of policies. So, the water policy, the the wildlife conservation policy, and so many and, and a lot of them. Others which are to do with biodiversity, all these policies, uh, somehow, 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 uh, they, they need to, uh, to, to, to adjust to this work that I'm talking about. So they, they, they need to be some, some form of linking them together and, uh, to fight uh, climate change. Yes. And as an institution, what have you done or what have you been doing in helping the government with these policies that we, we have? Well, really to draft a policy is not um, it's, it, 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 it's not the, 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 the prerogative of, of universities. It's, it's the government of the day. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that the universities and other academic institutions can, can do maybe is just to advise a government in terms of drafting the policy. And probably or maybe help its members uh, be included in those who will be in the policy or those who will be interpreting the policy. So so we we don't we don't come up with policies. Uh, we can only advise government or we can sit in committees uh, which provide guidance on how the policy should be written. But at the end of the day, the government is the one which uh, deals with um, drafting those policies. And if, if, if they require our input, we will greatly do it. We've had our input uh, into, into, into most of these policies, uh, which I'm playing right now, including the, the, energy, the, the water policy, the energy policy. But at the end of the day, they're not much after the government. Um, I don't know if you have any last words before we wrap up um, our interview. Uh, the last thing I say is that um, climate change is here, and like I mentioned earlier, Bubutsana is worst hit mm -hmm. by, by climate change. So why didn't we collectively come together and, and maybe? Have a sort of a, uh, a collaboration where we can probably do certain projects 
we, we, we wish we wish could be geared towards sanitizing um, sensitizing communities about uh, climate change or even maybe in, uh, building capacity among the communities by, by equipping them with skills that will help them to be less vulnerable to climate change mm -hmm. and be more resilient to climate change. So that is not the thing we do. Ideally, all, gov all, all departments, with interested stakeholders, uh, let's come together and, uh, and act in unison to fight uh, this war. And in the process, if you start small, and then of course, um, the, uh, if you start small, the, the, the benefits will be large. Mm -hmm. So instead of, and, and, we, uh, and share whatever we have, information that we have, which will help us towards uh, fighting climate change. Work together, collaborate. If, if there's an event, we come together, and maybe, and then maybe, we, I know that sounds very expensive, but maybe, and then, and then maybe source money, collective, yes. and then, and then, and together we can combat uh, climate change. And in that way, we can achieve sustainable development. Mm. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much.